When the Los Angeles Philharmonic opened its Hollywood Bowl season July 15, the mood was one of guarded optimism, cheer colored with denial. There were no requirements for vaccinations or masks. It was fine to bring the kids, and a good thing too. That memorable night, Gustavo Dudamel conducted a marvelous performance of Peter and the Wolf, with Viola Davis as the piquant narrator. Even so, people didn't exactly picnic like it was 2019. Delta was on the march, the surge had begun. Fast forward to Tuesday night, when Dudamel conducted an exceptional Mozart program for the LA Phil's final bowl concert of the season, everyone had to show proof of vaccination or a recent negative COVID-19 test. Guarded optimism had turned into weary, what, me worry? Acquiescence. Through it all, this proved the most satisfying bowl season in long memory. But it takes more than that to surmise whether we are likely to be back better. Will it be a case of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Or will we, in trying to improve the world, make matters only worse? The most relevant maxim at the moment, though, is absence makes the heart grow fonder. All that publicity speak about sharing music with the masses, democracy at action, in the magical starlight and blah, blah, blah of the bowl evaporated when the venue was treated as little more than Instagram picnic grounds. Yet this summer, when the lights went down, communal attention was directed at the stage to a degree of focus I had never before witnessed at the bowl. It was as if a bolt of lightning had struck and awakened all to the fact that music is what we had missed. Picnics hadn't gone away, live music had. And best of all, the music was made by an L. Phil unwilling to take any note for granted during the summer. Given the need for late planning and the uncertainty of travel, to say nothing of a nearly $100 million loss of projected revenue caused by the pandemic, the L. Phil stayed close to home. Dudamel stepped up to the bowl plate and committed himself to five weeks. Six of the seven guest conductors were former Dudamel Fellows, five of them excitedly making their bowl debuts. The remaining guest conductor was also family, Thomas Wilkins, the Hollywood Bowl Orchestra's music director, wore his well-fitting classical hat in an illuminating program that revolved around African-American composers.